All right, Fly Life TV checking in. Who do we have on here today? Um, I'm Melvin Carter with MelvinCarterJR.com. I'm a business and income strategist and also an entrepreneur. Okay, okay. So you answered the first couple questions all in one. That, that's awesome, man. So uh, where are you from, Melvin? Oh, I grew up here in Charlottesville. Okay, Charlottesville, Virginia. Yeah, yeah. All right, and uh, I know you touched on a couple of things that you, that you do, but explain it a little bit more in depth when you say business strategies, marketing strategies. Well, business, well, my thing is, my purpose and my why is pretty much is seeing that people hit their full potential. And usually what people deny themselves of is that their giftings that was given to them that God pretty much had given to him uh, when he was first born, but because you socialized and everything else, going, people go and get a job. So what I do is teach people how to take those giftings and to monetize them, to serve a purpose for not only for themselves, but for their community and for the world. Okay, okay. And, and over the years, and I want to touch on this because I've known you for quite some time. You know, when I was working in Charlottesville, you know, you was one of my contacts when it came to transportation. And, uh, you know, I've been tuning into your videos, you know, and, uh, and your advice. And I'm going to be honest, it, it feels good to sit down with you finally and be able to talk about this stuff. But what, what, how did you get to the Uncommon Breed, you know, with your, with your uh, posts and stuff like that on, on social media? Well, Uncommon Breed community. The Uncom Uncommon Breed community is the foot of rare people who decided to break out the norms and the conventions of just uh, mundane living. And I decided to become an uncommon, the reason why I coined it Uncommon Breed because of my great-grandfather. My great-grandfather and a lot of older uh, men I had as my mentors used to say, you one in a million. And my belief is you are one in a mil million too, but you have to believe it yourself. And but the Uncommon Breed community is a, breed, a community that allow you to come in to express yourself. In a, in, in a better light, in a positive light, in business. Okay, okay. Now, Millionaire Development Group. Touch on that for me, for the people that may not know what that is, if they okay. haven't gotten the insight of that on social media quite yet. Millionaire Development Group is a um, coin because my great-grandfather, my great-grandparents actually were, believe it or not, real estate investors. And he, my great grandfather, thought he was Hayden. He decided that he wanted to be a millionaire when I was about eight years old. And he was telling me he could be a millionaire if it wasn't for my great grandmother. Having so, when he passed in 1983, he was worth about a half a million dollars. And then when my great grandmother passed 13 years ago, she was well over the two million dollar mark. So I ended up coining my business name, Millionaire Development Group, because you can teach entrepreneurship. Why stop at just a few bucks in your pocket? Why not have millions in your pocket? Right. And I, and I respect that, you know, carrying it on, carrying a legacy. So another thing is, I, I, and I want to touch on this because it kind of pertains to me as well, but I often see a lot of young businessmen and women, you know, start off with no strategy. And, and you kind of touched on that in one of your videos. Why, why is it important to have a strategy? Every, everybody who is ever successful has a plan, a strategy. Most people get into the business with no strategy, so they come out of business within less than five years. They start because they don't have a plan for growth. Mo so even in accounting, they say have a budget, but if you don't have a budget for growth, you, you're not going anywhere because sooner or later, you have to have money coming in and you have to know where you want to go. So you know when you hit that goal, so if you don't have a strategy, you're suffering. So my thing is, what is your strategy as far as building a business? What type of home life you want to have? How many homes do you want to have? How many sources of income you want to have? And I think that should be planned out before you start achieving it. Right. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Now, can someone reach out to you for information on, on all of this marketing and strategy and all that, all that good stuff? What's the process of reaching out to Melvin Carter? The, the process of reaching out to me, go to MelvinCarterJR.com, MelvinCarterJR.com, and go to my um, contact page, or you can set up a one-on-one -on -one strategy session 
um, on that page also. So MelvinCarterJR.com. Okay, and you have a book, right? Yes, I have a book, Why Me, Why Now? Seven Game Changers to Move You Forward. That book was, was created out of passion because the simple fact is I took the knowledge that I had. I said, okay, I'm going to test myself and see if I become an author, and, and it's doing well. And what I did was I put it in a book. It's an easy read book because I got to the point, I, um, as a speaker, I don't have a lot of fluff. So I'm direct to the point in the book on how to get you, to get you where you want to go. Okay, and where can that book be found at? Amazon. Okay, Amazon. I love Amazon. A Am Amazon, Amazon. You can get it. You can get it in um, ebook form, or you can get it paper um, paperback. Okay, okay, that's awesome. I need. To, I need. I'm gonna get with you on that because I need to get a copy of that. I, I prefer paperback instead of ebooks. So, um, and another thing, like I said, I I've been in tune with your YouTube channel, and, and one story that touches me, man, is is the one with the, the young guy Isaiah. And, and you touched on how you met him at the gym, and he wanted advice on starting his network and marketing business, but you say he just didn't have the right mindset. Can you touch on that? Just so maybe we can inspire some of the young business uh, men and women out there. One of the things with Isaiah and a few others, um, even um, you had um, Denzel Washington was talking about uh, T.I. when T.I. was getting into a whole lot of trouble. We try to play two dual zones. And many of you are African American. You don't even need to be African American in that. You play, you either try to hold on to the past while you're trying to go forward. And you can never you never can hold on to the past to go forward. You can learn from your past, but at some point in time you got to push play and, and decide to move forward. Isaiah didn't want to push play. He wanted to have the same people that are hanging around, and at the same time, he thinking that he wouldn't work on himself and develop himself as a speaker or a communicator. And in the network marketing industry, when I was in the industry, there was a coach told me, he said, you need to learn how to speak to many people, not belly to belly. Speak to many people, because that's where the, the law of averages will come into your favor, because you talk so many people, then you're sitting here trying to go through the process, the one-on-one. -on -one. Isaiah and quite a few other people who don't want to go through the personal development to, um, to get that money. Right. And, and, and another thing as you spoke on was you said that he let his job affect his success. His job got in the way. Well, I, now, 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 now let, me, let me ask you this. Should you let your job ever stop you from, from, going, from going on to be successful? No. You, you should use your job as what it is, a source of income. And then when you... When you, or as we used to say, your nine to five is your source of income to pay your bills, and your six to nine or your six to ten at night is to actually get you your dreams and goals. And that's the second source of income. And matter of fact, I'm getting ready to create a course on that because a lot of times is people start a second job or a second business and you quit your first job. I'll tell you, don't quit until you get at least three streams or four streams of income coming into you while you still have your full-time full job. So no, your, your full-time job should not be, you just gotta rethink how you, you, you use your full-time job. Um, mm -hmm. it's, and it's not to be something to be in your way, it should be something to add to you. Now, now what's, the, what's the famous quote, John C. Maxwell? Which one? I got a bunch of them. It, it, was, it was one you touched on in that video, Melvin. It was, it was, <laughs> oh, God. It was one you said, like, you said it was something like this. You say, uh, man, I can't remember. Oh, but God, man, yeah, I, I, I wanted you to speak on it because it motivated me when I watched that video. Oh, my God. You know how many quotes I know? Yeah. Um, and John C. Maxwell is one of my mentors in, lo in leadership. Mm -hmm. And then I got about, ooh, about at least a half a dozen if not a dozen books on him. Yeah. But, um, oh my gracious, I did if that. You, if you can't think of I it, I can't think of it right off the bat. That's fine.